My name is Igor. Uh, I'm from Brazil. Uh, I work with the global Catholic climate movement, but I'm also part of the Youth Franciscans in Brazil. So in both organizations, we have been doing some work on uh, environmental justice and, and climate justice and social justice. So our work is around all these uh, decisions in some grassroots and the local level, in the national level, but also in the global level. So I have to say that I have some privilege in Brazil and we know about the injustice in Brazil, the inequality. And I just started to question myself why these things happen and how can I be engaged uh, with that? So since that time, we start to work with uh, some social movements, fighting for houses and, and land uh, and rights. Specifically in Brazil, we have many, many challenges. It's more challenging for those who are in the front line of these struggles, but also it's a, it's a huge challenge for all of us. About the work with the, the homeless, uh, my, 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 my city is about 700,000 people and the fight for a land, it's a huge, it's a huge fight. There's about 20,000 people homeless people that they are fighting for houses. So we had some good, uh, some good results. It's very powerful to see the families, to see people fighting for their rights. I think we have to be positive about the future. So I would like to see in my country an economy that respect people, that respect indigenous community, that respect poor people, an economy that include the excluded people and also transnational companies that respect the right of the people and the right of the environment. In this context, it's very important to mobilize civil society, to mobilize states for as a community to walk together and to find a solution. So each effort and each person, it's very, very important to be part of this great effort for a new future and for and also for the future generations.